Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I hope to show you the power of the new masking tools found in Lightroom. I took this image yesterday and it's just drab. I've tried to adjust it the best I could with the basic tab and I'm having an issue. Uh, the image or the scene had a lot of dynamic range in it. If I turn on the clipping indicators, you could see that I'm clipping the shadows. I don't mind clipping there though, because that is a black railing and a black pole. So I don't mind clipping there as much, but I am clipping up in the sky and I really don't like to clip the highlights. Now to make that sky look like it looked when I was there, I would have to add more contrast to it, more clarity, maybe some texture. When I do that, I'm going to increase the clipping and I don't want to increase the clipping. Also, the mid part, the main part of the image where the lighthouse is, the railings, the, the benches, it's kind of boring looking too. So I wanna adjust that independently of the sky and even the foreground area, I wanna adjust that independently of everything else as well. And that's where the new masking tools are going to allow me to do all that. So let me turn off the clipping indicators, hit that J key again, and let's work on the sky first. I'm going to open up the masking tools and I'm going to select the sky. And it selected pretty much all the sky, a little bit down here in the brightest area uh, at the bottom, but I don't mind that uh, because I am battling that clipping. So I don't want to adjust down there anyway. So I'll adjust the rest of the sky. Now I mentioned I wanted to add some contrast to it right and I wanted to add some clarity to it maybe a little texture now I'm going to take the black slider and I'm going to make the darker parts a little darker and the whiter parts a little whiter and I'm clipping even more I'll turn on the clipping indicators and you can see but that's okay because I'll be able to edit this mask so I kind of like that do I want to edit the temp just a touch get just a touch warmer yeah okay so there's my adjustment. Turn on those clipping indicators again. Now I'm clipping a lot more, but I could subtract from my mask. So I could have my adjustments affect everywhere that isn't clipping, but not affect the areas that are clipping. So I'm gonna click subtract and I'm going to get a brush. Now I wanna make sure that I have density and flow at 100 and feathering at 100 because I want this to look natural. We'll get a bigger brush. And I'm just going to come in here and remove the adjustment from anywhere that is clipping as much as possible. And I'm just, I have a, a Mac computer, as you could see, and um, I'm just sliding my finger on the magic mouse to adjust the brush size. If you have a clicker mouse on a PC, you know, center wheel, you can just spin that wheel, or you could come over here and adjust it, or you could hit the bracket keys. Left bracket key makes it smaller, right bracket key larger. And I want as much feathering as possible in there. So we got back to our original um, clipping there. And we'll come in here and get rid of it there, maybe. And in here. All right. So you can see now I've removed the adjustments I just did to the areas that I enhanced the clipping. Let me give you a before after. There's before, and there's after now i'm going to get rid of those uh, clipping mask hit the j key or clipping indicators so there's before and there's after so i kind of like what i did go on that mask again and i could come in and adjust it a little more add a little more contrast maybe all right so i've done my adjustments to the sky now the subject well what is the subject is it the lighthouse or is it the park benches and the pole um, everywhere in that mid area looks kind of drab too. So I want to try to adjust the subject. So I'm going to create a new mask and I'm going to select the subject. And what does it select? Well, it selected all of that. It selected the benches, it selected the lighthouse, the poles, and the buildings in the back left-hand corner. Well, that's okay. I want to adjust all that area. Now, if I wanted to remove, let's say, the lighthouse or the park benches, I could just get a minus brush. If I want to add the foreground to it, I could just get a plus brush and brush in there. But I'm just going to adjust this area here. And I want to make it a little brighter because that's where I want people to look. And I think we'll 
add some clarity and some texture there as well and maybe some saturation there as well all right now I've adjusted the sky I've adjusted the midground well what about the foreground here I want to adjust that as well how could I select that what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the sky so I'm going to get a new mask for the sky so select sky once it does that now I'm going to invert this mask so I'll go to the three dots next to sky one and I'll invert it and now it's selected that foreground area but it also has the quote subject as well well let's subtract the subject we'll click on subtract and we'll select the subject and now I have mainly that foreground area selected but it did select out here in the distance and over here well I could then further subtract with a brush so we're going to click on subtract button here and get a brush and then we'll get a bigger brush and we'll just come in here and remove it from the areas I don't want it to adjust look around this pole these buildings out in here just like that I'm probably missing some areas but I think I got most of the important ones just trying to do this while talking and looking around my microphone that isn't hanging in front of my face but I think that's pretty good now I want to adjust this foreground area what do I want to do well we'll add some texture all right and maybe we'll add some saturation there as well and we'll add some contrast okay I think that's it so I've done actually three different masks one for the sky one for the subject which is really the midground area and then one for the foreground area and let's do a before after there's before and there's after there's before and there's after now I definitely would not have been able to adjust this image like this using just the conventional tools or the older masking tools that were in Lightroom. These new masking tools allow me to really adjust very specific parts of the image. Now to finish it off, I could go to effects and maybe add a little bit of a vignette. Still, to me, at least not a great image, but I was able to at least make it look like it looked when I was there. Because to tell you the truth, when I was there and I saw the scene, I go, oh, this is gonna look great. You know, because the clouds were so um, kind of dramatic the water had the nice chop and it was pretty windy and I thought it would look great but then when I got home and saw the images I saw the raw files I was disappointed so it was a bit more difficult to adjust than I imagined it would be but those masking tools definitely did help thank you everyone for watching my videos I really do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon <laughs>